hello guys welcome back now in this session onwards we will start our development activities so in this aspect i'm going to create our first spfx web part solution so let's look into the steps what are the tasks we have to perform to generate the spfx solution so guys create and test spfx solution we have to perform these five tasks this is going to be the same for each exercise so the first task is to create a folder and we will specify the name of the folder as per our learning activity then the second step i have have created a dev container template which we will copy from the common location that i will show you now so as you remember that we have created some of the runtime for our all exercises i am going to use runtime 1.14 and within that i have kept a dev container template and which contains dot dev container you remember this thing how we have created this folder and within that we have the dev container dot json as well as spfx startup dot sh so as per our task one what we will do we will create a folder over here as per our learning exercise for this case for example i am going to tell that lab 01 create first spfx web part this is my task one which i mentioned then the second task which i mentioned earlier that is copy dev container template so i will come over here go inside this copy this folder and i will go back and i will paste it over here this is my second task and this we need to repeat for each of the exercises which we will do now the next step the third step so the third step is generate spfx boilerplate code so let's do that as well so how we will do that we will come over here right click and show more option and open with code and it is giving us the option reopen in container we will click on this so now it is starting the dev container which i have shown earlier in our earlier exercises so now you will get this error so don't bother about this error just simply click on this plus icon so it will give us the new terminal and over here to generate the boilerplate code that is our third step we need to write you at microsoft slash sharepoint so this is the generator so with the help of this it will generate the boilerplate code for our spfx solution so let's enter it then it will ask for some of the configuration questions so over here i will tell why yes and then it is asking what the name you want to keep for your solution so let's look into that so i am going to keep the same name which i have kept i will press enter over here then it is asking that what kind of project you want to create that means what kind of solution it is going to be so i am going to use it for web part development so i will select this one next it is asking okay what is the web part name you want to keep so for this scenario i am going to keep it lab 01 first web part so this is my web part name okay so it is asking for what kind of framework you want to use for this scenario i am going to use no framework so i will select no framework then it will start creating the boilerplate code you will see that it has generated many of the files that is part of our solution and this is our third step and this is what we have performed currently and all these three steps is going to be repeated in all of the exercises which we are going to perform in our upcoming sessions so you must have to use two with it now go back to the visual studio code so it is going to take time so i am pausing it over here once entire generation of the code is being done then i will come back so now it has completed the boilerplate code generation now we will perform the step number four to build the solution so the step number four that is task four we are going to build the spfx solution so how we will do that let's look into that so before executing it we must have to build it we will tell that gulp build so this will build the spfx solution so it has started building spfx solution so now it has completed it now the next step we need to test it so how we will test it so we need to perform the task number five that is test spfx solution so how we will do that let's look into that so prior to testing this application we must have to change some of the configuration so i would like to specify my site collection which we have created earlier over here so that whenever we will run the gulp so it will open that particular site collection so how we will do that let's look into that so we will grab the site collection url and we will paste it over here so this is the same site collection which we have created earlier so i will copy this and i will go back and over here i will replace this one i will paste it over here so now i have specified my initial page now the next step we need to run gulp serve so let's do it gulp serve enter so now it has opened the hosted workbench and you will see that the url which we have specified at soap.json config file and you will see the same url now you will see it over here we are getting a warning that means that gulf serve is not working so that means we are not able to get the web part which we have created into our sharepoint site 
so let's look into that you will see it over here there is no web part if you will search that what web part name we have given we have given the lab 01 see here we are not getting it so how we will resolve this issue but prior to resolving this issue we must have to understand what actually the issue is so basically the issue is browser is not trusting the script that is manifest.js script and that is the obvious behavior of the browser because browser don't execute any of the script which it doesn't trust to make it working we must have to install some certificate for this case i am going to accept that risk so how we will do that let's look into that so what i will do i will press ctrl shift i it will open the developer tool and over here i will get the network i need to go inside the network but prior to that i will reload it so once i will reload it then you will find it over here there is something called manifest.js so this is the thing which is not getting executed if this will get executed our girl soap will work so copy this url copy link address and i will open it over here and paste it let's paste it into and you will see that it is telling that it is your connection is private i will go inside the advance and i will tell that continue to the local host i would suggest that you should bookmark this url because this is going to be used in our upcoming sessions so i'm going to do the same done and over here i will go back i will close all this okay and i will refresh it and this time it will work so now you will come over here and you will see that we are getting our web part that is lab 01 fwp and you will see that this is the output of our boilerplate code which spfx generator has generated so guys i will stop over here in the next session what we will do we will learn about what all these solution has and what is the significance of each of these folders and where the code has been written whatever the output which we have seen it is how this message is coming well done with my name over here and this message so all these details we will discuss in our next session where we will understand the structure of the boilerplate code that will help us in the upcoming session so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care